hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will see how to animate the transform properties like rotation scale and position of an object in this video we will create one spinning hazard this one let's drag it into the hierarchy and as you can see we need to change the sorting layer to the mid ground and change the order layer to 2 ok it's fine the higher the order it will be on the top of other objects into its layer so this tree has the order 0 and this one has 2 ok so let's add the animation now click on your hazard go to the animation tab and let's create new animation for it let's name it spinning click on the add property option here here you will see the transform and by expanding it you can see the position rotation and scale so for this we want to animate the our rotation click on the plus here so it will add the keys at the 60 and on the 0 ok so we want to animate our z axis into the negative axis ok so let's add it so move the cursor here onto the 60 and change the rotation of z to minus 360 and just click here add keyframe so now you can see here our hazard is spinning ok it's too fast let's reduce the samples to 20 ok let's make it 15 so let's go to the curves here so here you can see the is in and is out effect select the two keyframes right click and change the tangents to linear the effect will go out and it will spin into the same speed so it's looking good let's increase the speed little bit ok this looks good So we have animated the rotation property of our object so let's scale it down first so let's place this somewhere here also move this to side okay. we need to add the tag of it which is hazard and also one circle collider to this so let's add tag hazard and add component circle collider 2d ok it's so all good next thing we will add the camera so let's see what the cinemachine camera does so for that let's move this into the hazards ok first of all you need to install it from the package manager change this to unity registry and search for the cine machine ok this one and just install it so let's add the cine machine camera into our scene right click here under the cine machine add 2d camera first thing we need to do is add the follow target here which is our player so drag this and drop it into the follow ok change the ortho size something like this and next under the body here are some main settings which are dead zone and soft zone you will get to understand this when we actually play the game 
so let's adjust it so adjust it accordingly something like this you can read some information what it does by hovering into this name and also two of the dead zone also camera will not move horizontally if the target is within this range dead zone is actually this clear part and soft zone is this blue one and here the damping means the smoothness how the camera moves the more it is the camera will move smoothly so let's make it 2 for now and here also adjust this you need to experiment with these settings so please do it it will take some time but you need to do this so let's add the background okay it's deleted from here so it is showing here if i move this here and scale this and move this into here so let's play now here as you can see the camera is following our player very smoothly so this is it for the today's video and into the next video we will see the health bar and and pause panel if we get the time for it so till then take care and goodbye